20 years ago, it was said that we couldn't repair the spinal cord injury. Um, as a neuroscientist, I thought, well, nothing's impossible. We're trying to repair spinal cord injury by transplanting cells from the nose into the spinal cord. Other people use stem cells, and once they've been transplanted into the body, they have to drive them to become the right cell type. And that's very difficult. The cells that we use are olfactory and sheathing cells. It's the only part of the nervous system that regenerates every day. Because our cells are already in the right state, we don't have to do anything and they're ready to go. So these cells are perfect for transplanting into the spinal cord. They can help clean up the injury site, help guide those nerve cells across the injury site and help them make those correct connections again. Our key difference uh, from other researchers is that when we transplant the cells, we create nerve bridges. So we make cellular nerve bridges so the cells have already made connections. So we've taken the approach that the cell transplantation is a great start, but those nerve cells don't always go to the right site. So we need long-term rehabilitation. We know movement can be restored, but we're also focusing now on autonomic recovery and sensory recovery. We can see now that the animals that we treat can get sensory recovery. That's really important. If you ask someone with spinal cord injury, what's their number one thing they want to achieve is probably bowel and bladder control and feeling. And the hope of walking again is perhaps yeah, further down that, that pathway. Yeah, there's quite an excitement growing, not just within our team, um, but also you know, with the external stakeholders. Uh, we're getting very good results, um, way beyond what we even expected. So the cell transplantation is just, you know, in many ways, the easy part. Our whole trial will involve people undergoing a rehabilitation phase for cell transplantation, then the cell transplantation, and after that, more long-term continued uh, intensive rehabilitation. Here on the Gold Coast, what a great place to work. We've got the sea, we've got the hinterland. Um, it's so we can work hard and we can rest hard. <laughs> but it's the combination. We've got uh, industry here, we've got the health and knowledge precinct, Gold Coast University Hospital, we've got the private hospital here. So we've got everything we need here to do what we can to achieve this therapy.